Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Hollow Knight. Still going after my Steel Soul achievement. In the last episode, we defeated the Mantis Lords. Oh, hey, look at me. I'm actually going to go ahead and see what charms I have equipped. And am I going to change anything? We made it down to the Fungal Wastes through the Fog Canyon and defeated the Mantis Lords. I'm expecting that I'm going to be on my way through the Deep Nest now. Or I could not do that. <laughs> Where am I going to go? I must be thinking about getting a nail upgrade. Oh, I'm going to feel compelled to bow to every single one that bows to me. I... It's so weird, viewer, because I do that sort of crap when I'm not recording all the time. I don't know why. <laughs> I just feel compelled to do things of that sort. As if I was recording a game. So, anyway, with the hook retrieved, we didn't have to fight the Mantis Swords in order to make more progress towards beating the game. We could, instead... Okay, that was weird. We could have instead gone back to th where we saw Hornet use her needle to cross that acid lake and gain access to the City of Tears, which will allow me to upgrade my nail once. Without a pale ore, I won't be able to upgrade it another time, but one nail upgrade can make it quite a substantial difference, or at least I feel it does, if we were to go into, say, Deep Nest, most of the critters there take quite a pounding without a nail upgrade. Can't get up there, Tim. Not without the double jump. Yeah, you can't hook on to anything. Maybe, oh, I might have remembered that, that there's a mask shard that we could get. If I could just get over that area, but I cannot do so. Alright, yep, to... Wait. To Deep Nest? Where am I going? Good to see you, sir. Thank you for the bow. Where am I going? <laughs> I got everything over there, Tim. There's nothing over there. You got you got all the treasure chests. Every single one of them. And by treasure chests, I mean we knocked the Geo off of all the rocks. If I'm instead thinking of trying to get another charm notch from Salubra, and if I am... Oh, wow, Tim. This is really dangerous. <laughs> if I'm thinking of doing that, then I'm going to try to climb up through Deep Nest to access the Spore Shroom and unlock that alternate way into Deep Nest. We can get quite a bit of Geo doing this with all the... I don't even know what they're called. These little... very painful larvae. And calling larvae is not quite right. Small centipedes? Can't 
fantastic job, by the way, on the music in this particular area, making it seem very creepy and dangerous. These things. That's probably the safest way for me to fight them, is to hop on them, because I always mistime their leaps. At least with the thorns equipped, I'll retaliate against them. Man, this is dangerous, Tim. <laughs> wow! I want all those. I want all the geo. More, more geo means you purchase more things. More things means more life or soul. Oh, two of them. Is this the end of Tim? Oh, wow. Half my life there. And we were already in this area. We did that for nothing. Let's get the snot kicked out of me there. I've forgotten where some of these pits are. Which should make it more exciting for us to watch. Good for me waiting a few seconds before I started to heal. Making sure it one wouldn't show up again. That's a tricky spider to kill. That's yep, gotta be a pit. I'm fine not killing it. We got some soul back again. Alright, I'm, I'm committing. <laughs> Steel Soul, Deep Nest, no nail upgrade. <laughs> Just noping right out of there. Garpedes. That's what these things are called, right? Garpedes? I think. Yeah, not worth taking the hits. I'm apparently confident enough in my skills to risk this. I'm... I'm shocked. Oh, that's good to know. A single... I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. A single soul shot? Ooh. And a slash will kill them. I'm at full soul, Tim. Oh, face it the wrong way. I commented earlier how I believed I had used my magic a little more, or my soul offensively. Apparently, I was lying. <laughs> Safest way to f fight them, bouncing on them. No! <laughs> Clever. Oh, what the heck? A small army of them. Yeah, that looks rather nasty. They are hungry bugs. It should, yeah, it should climb up. I really like how the sand, or dust, sand, sand, dirt, comes off the ceilings here as these garpies run through these tunnels. Oh, 
Oh, damn. It's a bit unfortunate. Shiny, whatever they are, in our pockets. Ooh. <laughs> and that's not a secret, unfortunately. I keep thinking there must be things I've forgotten. Or forgotten? There must be secrets I've never found in the game. And there probably is one or two. Holy crap, and there's a secret right there that I'm not going to find? Wow! There's a caterpillar hidden over there. Oh man! I completely missed it. Alright then. Hopefully I remember to come back here later and grab that cr that uh, oh that caterpillar. Do I remember it now? No, I must have done that for some soul. Oh, <laughs> nice, good, good little technique there, little guy. I wonder if any others of you will do that to me. Don't fall down that other pit, Tim. It's quite a way back up here. Oh, I should have just ran for it. I, I could have made it. They're bouncing above you, Tim. Oh, very good. Safest of places to try to heal. And there goes all my soul. All right. So this is how I would get the sh spore shroom if I go to the right. Go on, galaka, sano chere, chererel, go nele, go on, go on. Oh, you know, I think the prophet there is alive. So maybe I'm wrong about the disease only affecting dead creatures. Oh, radiant being, we are blessed. Your rays touch us, your warmth fills us. Holodest is born again, united in your blazing image. Light is life, beaming, pure, brilliant. Disciple that light is to suppress nature. Nature suppressed distorts, plagues us. Embrace light, achieve union. That last bit there makes me think it's some sort of like hive mind. Which is a bit, I suppose, fitting considering we're speaking about some insects. Always misjudge where that fall is. I knew it was there, too. Very good, Tim. Yep, no reason for me to fight those creatures another time. can't get through that passage from this room to the left. You have to go from the left to the right. And this makes it a little potentially easier Ah, for me to get the sporish room. But I don't have a lot of soul left to make this attempt. Nice. Very good. Spores room.
When you use soul to heal, after you are done, you will emit a cloud of spores that lightly damages enemies as a dot effect while they're within it. It's generally not enough to kill anything, if I recall correctly. Ooh, that was lucky. I don't remember this room. Apparently I don't remember that, uh, how to bounce very well on the springy mushrooms either. Well, that's interesting. They keep their damage if you die. And by die, I mean fall into the acid. Making stupid mistakes like that makes me wonder if I have, if I should be playing the game. There are some times when you begin playing any game, and instead of doing as well as you think you should be doing, you do significantly worse. Recognizing when this occurs, it's a, it might be a good uh, time to stop. <laughs> If you feel that you're a bit rusty, it's often better to simply not continue. But here, I believe I will be, when I play this game, I'm going to try to play it for at the very least about uh, an hour. Just with uh, give or take 10 minutes. Okay, we're going for a mass shard. Wow, first try. Three more, huh? Where's the next closest one? The shop? Did I buy both from the shop? Okay. The Green Paths Acid Area has... Now that we have the hook, we can get past the one wall and get a soul... A fragment of a soul orb. Is that why I'm here? Or am I here for the Balder Shell attempt? And if I get the shell, am I going to climb up and go out into the wasteland. I forgot about that. <laughs> We're going to do things in a really roundabout way. I think it's because, as I've mentioned, I want to survive. And so I will attempt to do things that I think I can handle and avoid things that I can't, obviously. We could probably go to the cave system, too. Without the compass on, I'm trying to gauge where I'm located. Yeah, several checks of the map. soul back, since we have at least one more of those to fight. You don't get any soul for whacking it out of its bush. You have to actually hit the maggot uh, to get the soul.
Yeah, I, I must be going for the lake. We have a roundabout way to get there. I could have gone up Fog Canyon, but that's also rather tricky. I've always found going down far easier than traveling up through it. Oh, okay. I forgot this was here. Grab a Wanderer's Journal. Is that the whole... Oh, and then I, now... Yep, I'll remove that. Oh, hey! Holy crap, Tim! Am I actually sleeping to myself where I want to go next? That seems kind of roundabout. I should go to the lake. Okay. We're not. <laughs> I didn't do that before. We should we should have gone to the lake. I disagree with this really roundabout way to... Uh... Yeah, take it up there. What's actually up there? Why do I have that area marked? There's no journal up there. I can't remember what's up there. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I circled that, because since I would have no clue what on earth I was doing otherwise, I wonder if this is something I will do again. That was, that was really handy of me a year ago, Tim. I'm probably using this as an excuse to pick up a handful of Geo on the way. Which I'm not quite sure makes for very entertaining video. But the game is certainly pretty enough, and the music's wonderful enough that I don't mind. Oh! Such an adventure. Oh, wait, was that the boulder shell area that I had marked and circled? I thought that was the area by, uh, the crossroads. Yeah, we got those a long time ago. There's no reason for me to be up the poor plant. Should have should have sold them. It's more difficult. Surprised I didn't get hit by one of those little creatures spits. Okay, we're going for the boulder shell. That must be why we're stopping here. Yep, we're stopping here. Getting some lifeblood char uh, charms, hearts. Oh, Tim, that was really close. Put all this damage on it, we might as well kill it. 40 Geo per kill? Yep. jump up that area. We have to cut across. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That, yep. I was mistaken. I thought I was circling the area around near the crossroads, the upper right-hand crossroads where you fight, you fight one of the giant guardian bugs with the club. This has killed me before as well in prior attempts.
Very good. No reason not to grab the lifeblood before that fight. Assuming, of course, you can make it here without taking the hits. Boulder shell. I think we need one more... Charm? Am I brave enough to do this? I apparently so. There's another charm that we can get out here. It's tricky to get it. Johnny's blessing is one we can get. And that I think would give me 10 charm slots filled, which is another which is enough for another charm notch. That's quite out of the way, though, and it's not the easiest charm to get. Requires dealing with a cave full of spikes. Howling Cliffs. We'll probably be back here later, yep, for that. Assuming, of course, we live long enough to actually get the Dream Nail. There's a king statue way below. And now that I'm down here, yeah, we should just go get it. Oh, king's idol. And we're not allowed to go left. I think that is where our protagonist originally came from as well. Since where he starts is the upper area of the Howling Cliffs in the starting cutscene. <coughs> Hornet hints that our void comes from two places. Both what spawned us and our wandering, I, I guess, around outside. This will tell us more about that. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blessed plains stretch never-ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse this void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. Which makes it sound like the bugs who think and who have built this world <coughs> lose all such capabilities if they do travel out to the west. We don't have the dream nail. I'm still impressed that the first time I was here, I knew what to do to this bug. The corpse of a large bug. The dream nail lets you hear the thoughts of living creatures if you smack them with the nail. Restores soul, but also lets you hear the last thoughts that dead uh, creatures that have died had. And I whack that bug thinking I might hear something about it. But that's how you unlock the... Uh... Oh, what is it called now? The Grim Troop. If I, I think that's the name. Hello, Cornifer. Hey, Kevin Noel. Are you enjoying the bracing air? We're quite close to Hollow Nest's borders and those desolate plains that surround it. In this direction, I'm about as far as I'm willing to go, though it's been a pleasant change from the tight confines of the caverns. I've drawn out a small map for the area. It's a simple one, and more for completion, really. Not knowing the full extent of a region can be frustrating. This is Johnny's blessing, or rather, the the 
trial to retrieve it. Since we're not going to start egg, uh, start exit game either, I'm I'm gonna have to fight my way out of this location, which means because so the small things we're killing these flying hunters those those bugs because they're considered small enemies, the game will respawn all of them when we leave and re-enter this area. Including every single ambush, like the one that just happened there. There goes my lifeblood. Mm. Do I, I can go back. It's not too late to go back. Okay, yeah, too tough. Too tough those hits. You can't you can't go that way, Tim. You need a desolate dive, I think, to get, actually break that in. All right. I don't agree with this, Tim. But the hopper won't come back unless we rest on a bench, I think. Oh, clever. A better area to fight those two at. Normally, I would have dashed and tried slicing it, so I'm glad I remembered that I had the thorns on, so I didn't I wouldn't have to do so. All right, back up to full soul. Never mind. Apparently, I know what I'm doing. Future Tim does not have as much confidence in previous Tim as previous Tim has. Hence, we're getting close. Whoa! Wow, Tim! Narrowly avoiding that spike. You can stay down there. We do not have Desolate Dive, so I cannot break that. So if, when we leave, assuming I'm not going to start quit, which I'm not, we've got to leave the way we came in. Farewell, Johnny. If you have the dream nail, Johnny's spirit will show up and speak to you briefly if you decide to talk to her. I don't need to kill that, but it might chase me, so I'd rather have it eliminated. It's always embarrassing when I'm trying to act cool. Alright, that was that was pretty cool there. Good nice uh getting out of uh dodge. 
Oh, nice. Two hits with that, too. Really glad I have on that uh, what, steady body. So I'm not knocked around at the moment. I'm thinking, probably, of keeping it on me the entire run. You can use being knocked back to your advantage sometimes, though. Mm -hmm. But it is only, I think, one notch to equip that charm. I chanced upon a strange bug atop these cliffs. His house isn't far from here. A very imposing figure he was, and no doubt lethal with a nail. I suspect you two might share more in common than him and I. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're almost there. We'll learn a nail art. I never really got the hang of using nail arts very much. With one exception. Sorry, uh, fireworks are being launched. Uh, by some, someone in the neighborhood. Illegal! In New Jersey to do so. We haven't had that much rain. And it's not the 4th of July yet. Today, the day I'm recording this part, or, or rather, the day I'm, I'm speaking as I watch this part, is June 30th, 2023. Holy crap, we made it to... No, this is not the bug's house. So for nail arts, uh, I found them a bit awkward to use. I wish that I could have had some sort of hotkey for them. Rather than holding down the attack button, which I felt was really awkward. Especially when I'm, tr especially when I'm trying to do dashes or what have you. I think those are to help you fight the uh, the brave mind. Is that is that its uh, its name? I forget the I forget the dream warrior's name now, but he's right here. An a altar, a shrine to him exists, or a grave. Ah, I, oh, uh, right, I think maybe I'm remembering, no, okay, marking down where the bug was for the Grim Troop, so I can come back later. Huh? Ah, well met. Yes, I thought I could sense the aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you found my sanctuary here at the top of the world. No doubt you've endured many trials and overcome many foes in your quest to find me. No, don't speak a word. I, Nailmaster Matto, who was taught the art of the nail by the great nail sage himself, here will accept you as my pupil. Let's begin the lesson immediately. Your form. Exquisite. Now I know how my own master felt when he passed down his teachings to us. I hope you don't think me too forward when I say that I consider you to be my child. Yes. When I saw you perform my nail art, I felt the bond between us suddenly flash into existence. You honor me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. Vam. Finden. Farewell, Mato. If you have the Dream Nail and whack it with it at this point, you can hear where another one of the Masters is located if you want to track them all down. Not sure what all those this, are. Those rocks, fossils, snails, eggs. I'm still not sure. Like they look like nautilus shells to me. I 
and we're back where we started the game from. It occurs to me, I know... Well, looking at this, I know where there's another mask, and we have the capability to get it. And it's not too far from the start of uh, the well in Dirtmouth. It's the... Oh, what's it called now? There's a boss battle there to fight a creature that spits uh, fluid above it and has these two uh, talons in the front. I can't remember what the creature's called. I can't remember what any of these creatures are called, viewer. <laughs> I am so sorry. But it guards a mask. If I still have these lifeblood masks, maybe we can go and fight it. Though, I think it's going to be really difficult for me to resist sitting on the bench at Dirtmouth. Two thousand one hundred and eight Geo, though, will go a long way for us if I decide to spend it here. Though we should spend it instead at Salubra's. Although, I guess if there's a mask for sale here, we'll buy the mask. Patamas, Geo! Yeah, I think we're buying this, this mask. I'm pausing so I can read this. Halfway there. Patamas, Jill. A key could be a useful thing now. Oh, am I gonna buy the vessel fragment? That's one of those. Where's two others? One at the Acid Lake. Did you visit that temple? A strange building I've heard, though I'd never dare the journey myself. The braver among us once went there to pray, said they felt at peace within the walls. After a while, they stopped going. I wonder what changed. Bapanada. Bapanada. I love saying that. <laughs> oh, look at me spending all my money. Tim, you have the charm notch you should have checked. I definitely want another colored user placeable to uh, token. At least one. Am I going to resist buying another? Okay. If I have to sit on a bench to place them, do I resist that? Okay, I do. Oh, well, I remember that there's a journal entry right here. Two Salubras, then. I think. We could start Crystal Caves and make our way to the bench... There's two benches I'm aware of in it. The one guarded by the... Oh, once again, I don't remember names. The Crystal Miner? Oh, we have the Miner in here we can speak, talk to again. Oh, hello again. Are you still running about? Why not join me down here? There's plenty of wealth in these rocks for anyone willing to put a bit of work in. Those crystals out there are worth a fair, fair bit, 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 but I have a feeling there's something even more valuable hidden just a bit deeper in. I can almost smell it. <laughs> You're welcome to join me. There's enough for both of us. Or if you don't feel like d d digging, you can just sit and sing with me. Adorable, Tim. But alas, we cannot make any more progress there. I'll see if I remember to come back and check on how he's doing. We do have... Oh, 
wrong, wrong exit. We do have my Lumafly Lantern, so we could try the Crystal Caverns and access it via that one passage that was dark earlier. Oh, that's not promising. Worst case, though, Tim, I might have to buy another charm. I don't think I do. All right. We could buy another... We need seven more for the next one. Okay, gotcha. Six more now. <laughs> If I'm gonna set, yeah, but say if we're gonna set the bench, we might as well do charm things, Tim. You just you, you just want another charm notch. All right, so we're keeping on gathering swarm probably for the rest of the game. It's just too useful. I want every single geo. We can't heal ourselves with Johnny's blessing. It turns all of my masks into lifeblood masks. And I feel like this is way overcosted at four. I feel like this should be, th at the very least, three. That's right, at the most three. At the least, two. Alright, so Steady Body's going back on. Soul Catcher. I would love Mask of Mark of Pride. But we'll just go with two extra hits, I suppose, at the moment. Until we can get another notch. Where can we get another notch from? I don't think the grandfather or father caterpillar has any as a reward for saving his young. The arena has one. There's one in Fog Canyon, but we're nowhere near close to accessing it. We need Acid Immunity, I believe, first to get it. There's one for defeating Grimm the first, uh, or, yeah, the first time. I don't think there's any more that can be found. The other two or three have to be purchased. I've always felt most of the charms... Oh, well, hmm, let me rephrase. Sorry, let me start over. Charms like Johnny's Blessing that change some aspect of you and have a penalty with that aspect. For example, you can't heal with this equipped. Feels like it should be... It should not be so expensive. I suppose it... So if I'm going to play Devil's Advocate for such an... To have that charm be so expensive, I suppose you would remove your temptation to heal at all. You would spend all your soul instead on attacking to kill the things as quick as possible. And it does give you a little more. Oh, okay. I'm not happy with that, apparently. Balder Shell? <laughs> the agony of not having... A, I, I want one more notch, probably, for Mark of Pride. But I like Shaman, uh, the Soul, soul Catcher, because I like having... Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with it. I like having that extra... Uh, that extra soul when I smack things. More important in this mode of the game. Since I need the Whoa! Tim, just go back and sit at the at the bench again. <laughs> I refuse to lose one of these lifeblood hearts because of something stupid like that. Okay, and I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna sit on this bench whenever I I'm taking hits from something stupid, forget it. Forget it. We're just gonna we're just gonna push on. And I'll use Dash Master. Dash Master, I believe, also increases your movement speed. Not just your... Okay. Not just your dash speed. I'm not happy with this either. 
<laughs> and I can see we're four minutes away, and I suppose I can say that unless something absolutely nightmarish happens, I'm not dying in the next four minutes. So, in advance, I'll thank you guys for watching what you did. If I want that on, something else has to come off. I have an unspoken rule that I tend to follow, and that is that if I have access to a charm that I intend to utilize through most of this particular Hollow Knight's career, that I should leave it on and equip it as soon as I'm able to. So, I'm not quite sure, like, once I tend to go with certain charm themes. So if I go with Mark of Pride and Balder Shell with Steady Body, then I'm going for a Knight build, as it were. Ooh. So that's one of those times where Steady Body is hurting me, because if it had not if it was going to knock me back, I would have been able to dodge that hit, those face those face pounds. Naturally. It would have pushed me outside of its range. Sorry guys. I think I needed the soul. I guess I'm going to end this back where kind of I started it then. I'm pretty sure my thoughts are No, we can't make we can't make that. My thoughts are I want to see what the mod does sooner rather than later. I want to see how expensive the charm notches are down by the mask maker. But I'm also not sure if I'll be able to handle that through deep nest. That requires circumventing those giant Spiders. The ones that uh, can hit you for two damage are they are, are hiding behind those uh, shielding masks. Oh. Tim, this is still the wrong way. <laughs> this is still the wrong way. You're still not quite where you wanted to be. Am I going to stop here? Where am I going? I see I have less than a minute. I tend to want to end this at a bench rather than just stop in the middle of, a, of an area. Okay, I'm guessing we're going to stop at Queen Station. This village is far away. Yeah, we've been playing it. It feels like so. You guys should know that I'm I'm playing this full screen, so I don't know what time it is. I don't have a clock in the room I'm recording this in, so it I feels like an hour. So we're gonna stop. And indeed, it's been close to an hour. So guys, thank you for watching. Hope it was entertaining, and I might see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.